and uh, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you how to build some uh, shotgun plasma Tetris, right? And so I found out that you can actually build this type of uh, Tetris, which is really easy to build and it's quite fast as well. You can also like make uh, slices of this Tetris and then like build your cannon your cannons uh, afterwards but anyway this uh, plasma shotgun right it's very efficient it does a lot of damage it can do like 70k damage the one that i'm going to build is going to be something like that and it doesn't cost it costs around the same as a railgun also it reloads very very fast it reloads around between eight and nine seconds so like 70k damage every eight to nine seconds which is quite good actually so I'm going to start right away. I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm also going to make some slices. And I'll put them on the workshop. I'll have probably 5x5, five 7x7, five, seven seven, you know, uh, something like that. I'm going to go with 7x7 seven seven here, right? So first thing, I'm going to start with... Uh, collector, you always want to use collector for sites for this, right? So I'm gonna put it like this with the square pointing down. You see, actually, no, it's like this. Now, uh, the collectors, right, have these uh, small pipes. You have to make sure that they are fitting uh, between each other. I'm gonna show you why and how. So uh, then I'm gonna put a connector here and I'm also gonna put a mantlet. Just this is so I know that it's, it is connected right because you know I'm just gonna make a slice and then I'm just going to uh, prefab it. Right, so next, uh, by the way, you cannot use symmetry with this type of uh, Tetris. So we have this one facing this way, right? But it's going to be connected this way. And then we have to do reverse here. One is facing this way, but it's going to be connected that way. Right, so everything is connected. So next thing is chambers, right? I wanna make sure they are this way. We have a two and we have a space for a one. Now, obviously if you make this bigger, right? For example, you make it, I think this 11 by 11, right? gonna get even more powerful and it will actually recharge even faster um, let's see so that's fine right so you want to make sure that everything is symmetric on one side so that is the Tetris as you can see I think I should probably we should probably call this L Tetris because it's like an L right and then from this side do pretty much the same thing over here uh, over here right so next trick is we need to put the generators but they need to be equal what what do what do I mean with that so uh, what I could probably do actually is build this one and then put it prefab it on the other side if I can let's see so something like this here then we put it like this I think that's fine uh, I'm not sure if I should prefab this though because it's yeah let's not prefab this for now so I have a two and a one here two and a one this is where it gets a bit confusing so a two and one right so you are 0 0.15 charges per second yeah so this is wrong be like this it's like that then here we put this three a three and that b that is 0 0.45. You want to balance them, right? I'm not sure if I'm doing this 
correctly, but we'll find out. Let's see. So 0 0.15, 0 0.24. Interesting. Oh, I need to this. Put this here. Oops. And 0 0.24, 0 0.24, 0 0.24, 0 0.24. Perfect. So well, that's perfect, right? So next thing. What you can do is you can grab this, right, and save it, be like a 7x7 plasma tetris for shotgun, right, name it whatever you like. So then I can make it as tall as I want, make it 5 6 right, good, next, parrot, neck, And put this so as you can see they're not connecting with each other that's normal you grab the collector in the middle right you flip it upside down and then you connect all of them by holding your shift key there you go got some perfectly plasma tetris there and as you can see it's filling in what is that 8.7 seconds i'm not sure anyway let's test this shotgun splitter let's see uh that's 10k damage no we want more damage so this is eight times eight we'll make it a little more accurate but the less accurate it is, the more damage it's going to do. Uh, let's see, we're gonna do 1000 active cooling. It's fine. And I don't think we need all this speed here. That's fine. Right, let's test this against the Iron Maiden, right? So 57,000 damage, reloading, but it's not taking too long, you can see, doing around 60, but uh, what I can do is I, make, I can make it a bit more, oops, I can make it a bit more uh, taller, I mean. Okay. As you can see, it's reloading quite fast. So let's make it just a little bit more taller here. Just remove. Really, much you can do. This. Yeah, yeah, I can do this, right? This. This. I think that is reverse, but fine. some heat sinks over here and this is reversed okay now we have 70 charges and it's 8.4 charges per second so yeah it's a bit better now Okay, let's try that. It's gonna be around 80k damage. Get these settings as they were. Of cooling 1000. Right. Let's try again. Eighty-seven thousand damage. Every around every. I don't know. It's seven seconds. Let's see, let's count that. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. Around eight seconds. Doing really good damage. Try to take out the turret gap here. Ooh. So, like, if you're going to build a ship, right, that has one of these, what you can do is you can either make a cram cannon that frags, or another thing that you can do is you can make, like, some APS with frag and HE, because this thing opens stuff up, as you can see. And it's very accurate. So let's see, cost is should be really good. Uh, almost 75k. Uh, it's very efficient. Uh, 637 materials per firepower, which is very efficient. 117 firepower. So yeah. And another thing that I like to do. Uh, I'm gonna remove this now. So another thing that I like to do is I like to breadboard What I like to do is I like to breadboard the plasma cannon so that it doesn't miss the first shot and to do it is very easy grab a breadboard right you can put it right here and you do primary target info then you do a meta evaluator. Right. Actually, yeah. Meta evaluator, and then we do a delayed pul delayed pulse. One. Then we need uh, the local weapon controller. But uh, what you can do is you can name it. Uh, let's name it plasma shotgun controller. Right. Right. Uh, then I and then you need generic block setter. Put this here. Put this here. Make sure it says one when you paste your name in here. And then we're gonna set it to maximum firepower. Uh, fire rate. I mean, not firepower. Right. If a is one. 40 or 0 so double bracket there if double bracket a equals 1 comma 40 comma 0 and then what I do is I connect this with this I give this thing a delay to of 2 seconds I think 2 seconds is fine we set it to don't reset if input is 1 Connect this to this, and then connect this to this. Now, this thing should never miss the first shot. This also works for cram, but I'll do a, probably do a tutorial on uh, type of tricks here. Let's gonna fire watch. Still kind of miss because it went for the tower. I have no idea why, but it always goes for the tower. Now it's going to fire normally, so it's going to ignore the breadboard because that only works at the beginning of the battle. As you can see, having one or two of these is quite devastating. Let's uh, grab two of them. Okay. Uh, let's put you here. Uh, put you here. Three of them, right? Let's try again something quite big. Uh, let's see here. Rodenheim? Rodenheim? As you can see, they will, they will never miss like this. And it's already damaged that... Uh, Cannon, yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can imagine having two of these and a bunch of APS cannons. Quite devastating, I must say. And she's already thinking, wow. How much firepower is that? 352 firepower? Oh my god. Now remember, this is a 7x7, right? It's, uh, it's very devastating. So, I'm going to make a couple of slices. I'm gonna have 5, 7, uh, 9, 11, so on. And you can just download them from my uh, Steam Workshop. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and like. And I'll see you for more from the depths. Thank you for watching.